US President Barack Obama has held his farewell media conference during which he spoke a lot about relations with Russia and Vladimir Putin. His remarks were mostly negative this time, but Russia is a topic that Obama seems to keep changing his mind about. Russia is isolated with its economy in tatters. Russia is a major military, the second most powerful military in the world. Russia is a regional power. Russia is an important country. It is a military superpower. They are a smaller country. They are a weaker country. Their economy doesn't produce anything that anybody wants to buy except oil and gas and arms. Barack Obama was also asked about widespread accusations that the hacking of the Democratic camp during the recent election was guided by the Russian president. He said the intelligence agencies are still gathering information, but he believes, quote, not much happens in Russia without Vladimir Putin. With no proof yet presented to support any of the claims, some professionals have weighed in on the issue. A number of retired U.S. intelligence officials have signed an open letter claiming that the DNC emails were, in fact, leaked by an insider. They say that it could have been anyone from the government or the Democratic Party itself. We spoke with former CIA intelligence officer Larry Johnson. He was one of those who signed that letter. And here's why he thinks that it was a leak and not a hack. If it was a hack, there would be evidence. The NSA would actually be able to know who did it, be able to trace it from point to point. They have not been able to do that. That evidence does not exist. It has not been briefed, to our knowledge, to any member of Congress or to any member of the administration. Point number one. Point number two. Julian Assange has testified, albeit not under oath, but he has insisted that he has not received this from any agent of the Russian government or the Russian government itself. Number three, uh, Ambassador Craig Murray has identified that he knows he one of the individuals involved that did provide the material and that it was a leak, not a hack. Well, unlike Barack Obama, the person at the centre of the email scandal, Hillary Clinton, claims she knows the exact reason behind Vladimir Putin's supposed involvement. It was a personal vendetta, she says, against her. We, we have to recognise that, as the latest reports made clear, Vladimir Putin himself directed the covert cyber attacks against our electoral system, against our democracy, apparently because he has a personal beef against me. The latest installment of uh, an explanation, an excuse for her loss, was made before a series of big uh, donor, high roller donors, who basically wasted about a billion dollars on a campaign that she lost. I think the best thing for her to do was to come up with some excuse as to why she lost, and they lost the billion dollars. And if you could point to Vladimir Putin, or Russia, or RT, or James Comey, the FBI director, because, see, there's many layers to the blame game. But nowhere in any of this has Hillary Clinton taken blame for running a lackluster uh, uh, campaign.